Here we go again, YouTube, with another Center Brick Entertainment Let's Play. Except, it's not really Let's Play because we've been playing this for a little while. We're getting into Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm starting to get the hang of it just a little bit. Uh, or at least I start to think so. Basically, the whole premise behind this video is to kind of give, hopefully, some people starting off into the uh, FPS shooter genre a little bit of hope, a little bit of... I guess uh, maybe some self-confidence in yourself because here's what's here's what's going on for this video. I started off in maybe probably about a minute minute or so into this video, down probably s zero for seven. And basically, for people who don't know, that means zero kills in seven deaths. Now, most people who are actually into the game uh, would probably consider that pretty horrible. Personally, me, I considered it pretty horrible, and that's been kind of going the trend here here lately for these games, and I kind of was losing all hope, losing pretty much, I, I felt like throwing in the towel, but, you know, this game was kind of a little bit of a pick-me-up game. Um, there's a couple of new things that I started doing uh, that I changed up since this video. One of the things was I set my sensitivity, something I... I really didn't think about doing. I set my sensitivity up to six uh, or seven. I don't exactly remember which, but I set those up. Uh, that way, I can flick over, shoot people a little bit quicker. And now that now that I'm starting to get a little bit of the hang of things, you can kind of see. I kind of came back a little bit from seven and uh, seven or zero oh and seven up back to. And don't want to spoil the very end of this game. I didn't do extremely well you know I'm not a pro status somebody that goes like 21 and 0 or 30 and 0 you know something like huge or something that somebody would consider huge but what I'm trying to do is show that while you know I may be starting out in this game there is still hope yet for getting the hang of things you know and people who are just jumping into the game you know there's experienced seasoned veterans out there you get thrown into the game with a couple of people who are already level 55 and it's really discouraging to you know you're running around you see how the pros do it and everything and little do you know you you kind of run around the corner and sure and surely enough you get shot right in the back from somebody who maybe spawned behind you or knows the maps a little bit better than you so basically take courage you know you can still do it you can still come back from the deaths um and you know that's the, if, if, if anybody saw the first couple of uh, videos that i actually threw out there um i would encourage you to go watch those real quick and just see how badly those came out i mean even even if you grin you have to kind of bear through the audio a little bit um just kind of watch through those and see where I'm starting out from. This is a very, very new thing for me. Um, the last Call of Duty game that I did play was Call of Duty 4, and now I'm jumping into Black Ops a whole, I want to say like five or six games later, um, trying to get the hang of things. So with that being said, I think after I got offline the other night, I'm trying to upload as much content as possible in the Journey to 55 series where we try to get to level 55 the quickest way possible and from what I've read and I want to send this uh, message out to anyone who also is trying to join me along in the journey to 55 videos um, and trying to get to level 55 the quickest way I have found to get to level 55 is to simply keep playing the hardcore maps the hardcore uh, Kill confirmed. I've I've heard is a pretty big one. There's an there's another one that they said was uh, a a pretty pretty big one. I think I, I don't remember exactly which one it was, but the kill confirmed is a pretty huge one. It I've get, had this game. I started playing it since yesterday, and I'm already level. Yesterday being this Thursday. Thursday. Um, I came back on Wednesday, started playing this, and on Thursday night I'm level 20, um, and I probably put only. I mean, it, it's some people might consider it terrible, but I've probably only put uh, about six hours and maybe six to eight hours into the game, um, which is a little bit much for me. I've been excited to get to play it. Um, I still want to try to learn it, try to you know get everything that I can do to be as entertaining, entertaining as possible for you guys, the viewers, and see where we can go from there. Eventually, down the line, I do want to be level 55. I'm, 
have heard that the Ghost Perk is the absolute best perk in the game to get because it takes you completely off of radar um, for people who have the UAVs, throw it up in the air and they don't see you, which means you can run around undetected and get a lot more of those kills, plus some of the upper guns I'm looking forward to as well. Um, with the assault rifles, I'm just using a couple of the base. I'm using one of the basic ones in this video. And one of the bonus, the good thing about the hardcore maps is that everyone has less health, or rather, your guns do more damage to people. And you can see I'm I'm just firing off a couple of shots, um, and people are falling over. But anyway, if you want to join me on this video, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button. Uh, any support would be welcome. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Links will be below um, for Twitter, at Bullless107, and you can add me in-game. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Peace.